River's crested yet or not, I wouldn't imagine. We got more rain. Oh, look at there. We're beginning with breaking news out of Ellicott City right now. People's lives are in danger. They are trapped in buildings at this very moment. Life-threatening flooding taking over downtown. Emergency crews are rescuing people on Main Street. This is potentially catastrophic, and you're looking at just some of the video there. Look at this right there, that water right past that house. Emergency rescue crews warning people to take shelter and head to the top floor of their buildings. They are coming for you. This video from a resident who is trapped it's right outside his door. Emergency officials from Montgomery and Prince George's County heading to that area right now, and Howard County EMS says rescue swimmers are headed to the scene in the downtown area. We want to show you some video shot from inside the Ellicott Mills Brewing Company. This is from Meg Smith. She's trapped there on the second floor. She says she's watching the water carrying cars down the street. I just talked to her. Is your car okay? Are your is your family okay? Is your house okay? My family's fine, but I uh, couldn't tell you anything about my car. I just know that uh, right now it's it's definitely not good. How are you going to get out of there? We uh, we have no idea. We're just going to wait it out with the staff. The, the thing that needs to be noted is the uh, the courage of the first responders who are out here trying to take care of their city and their people. They are out here in this water, and they are uh, trying to take care of their community, and they deserve a whole lot more credit than anybody else.
And Howard County officials say that the Roger Carter Community Center is open for anyone in that area that needs to take higher ground. Our Stephanie Ramirez, she's down there right now. She's on Old Columbia Pike and she is live for us. So Stephanie, what are you seeing at this moment? The rain is still heavy, so these floodwaters, this is still very much a threat. Rescues are going on. Behind me, this is where the fire department, Howard County, their boats, the water rescue teams are stationed. We saw a couple guys pulling boats over. They actually told us we can't go past the buildings here because they're going to start pulling their crews back. That's how severe it is right now. Where we are in Old Columbia Pike, so further down that way, it meets with Main Street. And we can show you, though, the back end of what Main Street is dealing with. Deborah, I really want you to take a look at this. You can see the floodwaters behind the buildings there. Not too long ago, there was a huge crowd of people there staring, taking photos, but really it's just, it's not safe to be out here. Fire rescue teams officials are saying this is reminiscent of the floods that we covered two years ago, July 30th, 2016. And if you remember during that time, there were two fatalities. So this is still a very serious and a continuing situation here in Ellicott City. We're going to try to talk to some first responders here, but we don't want to bother them because we know they're busy rescuing. If anyone's standing around, though, we'll try to get you some more information here. But we're live right now on Old Columbia Pike. Stephanie Ramirez, WUSA 9. I mean, please stay safe out there. You and Eric, I know you guys are working hard out there. Now, that's the same spot as Stephanie said where devastating floods ravaged Main Street. And as she said, killed two people almost two years ago. So much rain fell in such a short amount of time. It put buildings underwater, cars floated down streets, and some with people inside that raging waters ripped storefronts open. Now, this is, of course, some of the most memorable video people we're forming a human chain. Look at these heroes here to try and save a woman. She was about to be swept away and killed and they did get her. Wow. Everyone who's there, please stay safe. If you have any video that you can get safely, certainly let us know about it and tweet us at WUSA9. Again, I just want to also give you an update. Um, we're going to go to Howard Bernstein right now, but Howard, Meg, the woman that I was talking to, I just got a tweet from her that she is out of the building right now. She's well, been rescued. That's, uh, that's amazing what's going yeah. on. Some of the rain that we're having right now might actually be worse than two years ago. When I share the Doppler estimates, I think we had about six inches in two hours. We're, we're pushing nine almost in a couple of spots. It's hard to say it's worse than it was before.
Maybe that's quite as bad. Oh wow, I'll just walk into this. 